Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel that is Health Bar. So in this video, we are going to show you about the suctioning procedure. So there are two types of suctioning. First one is the open suction and second one is the closed suction. But in this procedure video, I am going to show you about the open suctioning and the closed suction we'll discuss later. So let's see how to perform the open suction. Check the non-drug order sheet and ventilator bundle checklist of the door and enter the patient room. Introduce yourself to the patient and check the patient identification. Before checking the wristband, perform hand hygiene. Good morning sir. My name is Priya. I am your assigned staff nurse from 8 am to 2 pm. I am checking your wristband. Explain the procedure to the patient. Even if the patient is unconscious, explain the procedure to the patient as the subconscious mind of patient is awake. Sir, I have to perform suctioning as per the doctor's order, such that your airway will be cleared and you will be not having any breathing difficulty. So I will arrange my articles and will come back within a few minutes. Check the vital parameters and Check the working of suction apparatus. Arrange the articles. Tray containing appropriate size suction catheter according to patient ET size. As patient ET size is 7 number, so suction catheter size will be 12 French. According to formula, ET size minus 1 multiplied by 2. Second, Yonka tonsil tip catheter for oral suctioning. Third, one pair of sterile gloves. Fourth, clean towel grape sheet. Fifth, portable or wall suction. In this suctioning, we are using portable suction apparatus. Six, sterile gauge piece. Seven, 100 ml of normal saline. Eight, two sterile containers, one for ET flush and other for oral flush. And label the container with date of opening and date of discard. Nine, cuff pressure manometer to check the cuff pressure. Ten, ample bag for pre oxygenation. Eleven, syringe twenty ml. Check the ED cuff pressure with the help of a cuff pressure manometer. Fill the steroid container with normal saline.
row wear the sterile gloves with the help of assistant assistant will provide suction catheter in a sterile manner and the assigned nurse will hold the suction catheter with dominant hand now the assigned nurse will attach the suction catheter with bubbling tube with non dominant hand assigned nurse will set the suction pressure assistant will disconnect the patient from the ventilator and she will give the pre oxygenation through a ambu bag that is 6 breath in 5 cycles that is 30 seconds assigned nurse will pre-flush the suction catheter with normal saline without applying the suction pressure that is do not press the thumb on suction catheter insert the suction catheter until resistance is felt pull 1 to 2 cm up apply the suction pressure by pressing the thumb on suction catheter remove the suction catheter in a rotatory manner within 8 to 10 seconds will connect the patient with the ventilator immediately now the assistant will provide the sterile gauze piece to the assigned nurse for cleaning the suction catheter post flush the suction catheter with normal saline if secretions are still present then follow the same steps of procedure Detach the suction catheter and discard it in the kidney tray. And attach the yonker tip catheter for oral suction. And pre-flush it with normal saline. Turn the head of the patient to your side. Open the mouth and perform oral suctioning for 10 to 15 seconds. Clean the yonker tonsil tip catheter with gauze and post flush it. Monitor the post procedure vital signs. Okay, sir, I am done with the suctioning procedure. I hope you are feeling well now. Thank you so much, sir. Discard the waste according to BMW policy and replace the articles. And washing. Document the procedure in nurse's note and wrap bundle checklist. Amount, consistency. 
color or do client greeting status before and after. Maintain your vigilance on cardiac monitor or saturation level throughout the procedure. Maintain asepsis throughout the procedure. Never suction more than 10 seconds at a time to prevent hypoxia. During insertion, don't apply the suction pressure. Use gentle insertion and manipulation of catheters.